channel this is episode 7 of brown sugar and i can't believe that we're here already it feels like we just started this series but i am going to be bringing this season to a close soon summer is right around the corner and malik did get accepted into the university of rochester's vet program so yay for malik so he'll be starting school in fall right now we are at the gym bright and early because courtney and malik have decided to start a health and fitness journey together They've let themselves go, I must admit. Last episode, we found out that Malik has a few vices. He's been drinking and smoking cigars, and he wants to quit those habits before he starts school. Today, we are going to be attending Marcel and Miss Deidre's barbecue dinner. They decided to set some time aside to go with his parents to the Philharmonic, so we'll see how it pans out. Hopefully all goes well, because Malik and his mom's relationship has been pretty rocky since he's been dating Courtney. And Court does want to have a great relationship with Malik's mom, but his mom is a little bit of a diva and she's not really a fan of Courtney. I would like for them to make some friends while they're here today. Malik needs some guy friends. Marcel is cool, but he's also a little bit older than Malik and he's pretty busy. They own a trucking company and also Miss Deidre has her hair salon, so they don't really have time to hang out with Courtney and Malik aside from when they plan things. Also, I do have some updates for you all. I don't know if I mentioned this last episode, but Malik will be quitting his job at his dad's clinic and focusing on school primarily. And also, oh my goodness. So I do have my settings set up to where fate and time would decide whether or not they would want to have kids. And it looks like Malik would be happy to have a child now. I don't know if he and Courtney have discussed this yet, but also I think that Courtney has a lot of thinking about this to do as well. Oh, I guess we have a... Oh. Okay, so this is a gym trainer. That's great. I would like for them to reach level 3 in fitness before they leave here today, so that is our goal. And I also would like for Courtney to go home and bake some pies or something for Miss Deidre's barbecue dinner are you kidding me let's have our smoothie and then we will do some more cardio what level is she on right now so courtney is on level one in fitness and malik is being trained by samir samir raymond we'll see what it's giving so far so good courtney's over there doing the running man courtney you need to come over here and do some more cardio and malik do not get sidetracked honey you come over here and get on the treadmill also. Courtney, what are you doing? So I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode, but I got rid of the geek trait for Malik. So he now has bro. I don't know. The geek trait really didn't fit him. I see him more as a bro. He enjoys watching sports and being around the guys. So I feel like this is fitting. As for Courtney, she has the crystal crafter aspiration now. And she's still over there doing the hanky panky. This was her idea. If it was up to Malik, he would continue smoking cigars and drinking wine. But he's starting school soon and he wants to turn a new leaf. So they're trying to get healthy again. You guys know that Malik loves a good takeout. So there's that. And he has work today. So I think we will send him off to work. We do need the money. Look at how he's looking at Courtney workout. I'm screaming. Okay, and Malik, since you're off the treadmill, go ahead and work out on the punching bags before we go. But we need as much money as we can get because when Malik starts school, Courtney's going to be the one holding down the household. So we'll see how this all turns out because she is not working right now. She's just been focusing on her jewelry brand. So do you know her? Malik has about 20 minutes before he goes off to... 
work. What is Courtney doing? She's over there talking to that lady in the towel. Come over here, Courtney. And we need to start voting on the neighborhood action plan. He's like, so uh, you're looking for a trainer? Yeah, me and my partner, we're looking for someone who can help us get on track. He's like, yeah, I think I met him over there, tall guy. That's him. So I'm thinking that we'll come every Friday and Monday. We'll see what it's giving. Summer's around the corner, honey, and we need to get our summer bodies together. Where are they going? I know Courtney did not ask this man for a massage. I guess, Courtney, is that Mr. Delroy? Now, wait a minute. Since when is Mr. Delroy a massage therapist and he's massaging his son's back? Why do I feel like Mr. Delroy is not really an employee here, but he snuck into the employee room, got a uniform, and now he's in here giving his son a massage for free. So I finally took some time to decorate the house and I'd say that it's about 95% done. The upstairs hallway is finally complete as well. I did add a couple of bookcases because Courtney does like to read and Malik is starting school soon, so he needed somewhere to keep his textbooks. And this is the new craft room slash laundry room. Courtney has been spending a lot of time in here working on her jewelry. Speaking of, I would like for her to make something for Malik's mom, so I think we'll try to do that before we leave or we'll work on it tomorrow. Courtney, you look so toned after one day at the gym. Oh, Tab wants to come over. We'll say yes. Okay, let's let Tab in. I guess she's already on her way to do it. We'll have her help her with the pies for the barbecue. Right. Tab, you look good, honey. Where are you taking me? She's like, I got a new car. I want to show you. Curva. Tab, you've been doing well for yourself, honey. I love that for you. Okay, I know you guys missed each other, but Courtney, we have stuff to do today. Let's see what kind of pie we are going to bake. You know what? A lemon sponge cake actually sounds really good. Let's do that. Courtney, I hope you don't butcher it. Come inside, Tabitha. I have a bone to pick with Tabitha anyway, honey. She took our money and did not take Richie to the vet. Yeah, I want Courtney to be a baker so badly. I can see her being the mom that bakes. Even though she's not a mom yet. Oh, we're done already? I guess we can make two. Why not? One for the party and one for Marcel and Miss Deidre so that they can have for themselves. Let's do a strawberry cake this time. Tab, you can help me. Oh yeah, I forgot Tab doesn't like cooking. Is Tab helping her? Who is this new Tabitha, honey? Richie, I know, honey. So Richie has health problems, you guys. I don't know what they are, but he's a sickly dog, and I realize that I need to be nicer to him. Richie is not always going to be here with us, and I don't want to be mean to him while he's going through what he's going through. Or just in general, he doesn't deserve it, but he is annoying. I've never had such an annoying dog. That looks really good, Courtney. Courtney's going to be leaving soon so that she can help out Miss Deidre. And Malik will come after work. Richie, is everything okay? Last episode, I did mention that Courtney is no longer in her yoga and art here. What is Chanel doing here? Yeah, I don't have time for this. But what I meant by that is Courtney is no longer interested in working at the yoga studio and painting for fun. She actually wants to find something that she can make a career of. And although she's rediscovering her hobbies and passions right now, she eventually wants to have a business of her own. So, Tabitha, please. Oh my goodness, Richie let Janelle in. Let's invite her in and send her on her way. Courtney needs to get dressed and ready to go. We told Miss Deidre we would be there by three. Hey Janelle. Yeah, I know Tab's here. She invited me. Love what you did with the place, Court. Thank you. Tab, your friend's here. Ugh, memories. Richie, are you okay? Does Richie have food? No, he doesn't. Let's feed Richie. And Courtney's gonna go upstairs and get dressed. What are these two up to? Are they still? 
Oh, please. Please, Tabitha, you can do better than that. So yeah, me and Janelle are kind of a thing now. I don't know if I told you. Um, I guess, Tab, whatever makes you happy, honey. What do you think of her, really? I don't know. I think that you guys are... I don't know, Tab, it's your life, honey. What is Janelle doing? Did I just hear a glass break? Okay, Janelle, this is... This is getting ridiculous. Okay, and Courtney, you're no better. Why is everyone showing up right now? Janelle is dropping all of her good bottles. Let's order her to clean. That bottle was $300. What is going on? Janelle, please do not drink our alcohol. And Tabitha, my head is hurting right now. Janelle, seriously? squirmish. Yeah, you tell her, Courtney. Tabitha, my head is... Thank you. Okay, I think they're leaving. They've only been here for five minutes and they already managed to give Courtney a headache. Ooh, Courtney called Janelle upstairs. Oh. Be safe out there, Janelle. Yeah, sorry about the liquor, Courtney. I'll pay you back, okay? So we are playing from Mestidra and Marcel's household right now. Marcel needs to get on this grill, honey. We want ribs. We want burgers. We want it all. Mestidra, how about you get the wine going? He hates barbecuing, but he has really good barbecue, so his wife always makes him do it. Hey, everybody's showing up. Look at Courtney. Oop, not Courtney and Mestidra matching. Hey, Courtney. Oh my goodness, did Courtney bring the cakes? Let's have Courtney put the cakes out. Dinner will be served soon. Marcel, yeah, go ahead and make the corn. And we'll put this over here. I can't believe Courtney put the cake on the floor. Look at Courtney. She wants to talk to Miss Deidre so badly. She really sees Miss Deidre as like a mother figure. You know, her relationship with her mom isn't that great. The glory of stories. Marcel can't get enough of the stories Deidre tells, especially that last one. It really brought the conversation alive. We'll say yes. He loves a good story. And Miss Deidre, you can go ahead and call them to the food. She's like, where's Malik? I'll be here later, Miss Deidre. What's up with this guy? What is going on with everyone? Hey, Courtney, why are you... Oh my goodness. Courtney is in here setting the table. I feel like she's really trying to impress Miss Deidre. Look at her. She tore that plate up, honey. The ribs must really be good. Marcel, hurry up. The corn is burning. Guys, here, Courtney, come outside and eat. Where's the other cake? Oh, I guess it's over here. Marcel, let's get it going. What is up with Marcel? Having a bad time. Oh, because he doesn't like cooking? You'll get over it, honey. Save some food for Malik. That's his third plate. What is up with Marcel? Why is he so paranoid? Miss Deidre, are you okay? I guess she's alright. Her friend's coming to talk to her. Can we sit and chat outside? Malik should be off of work soon, so let's invite him. And then Courtney needs to get some food, and we'll have Miss Deidre sit and chat here with Tanji. Marcel's gonna come over here and spike the fruit punch. Here comes Malik. Malik is hungry, honey. He's jogging to the ribs. I guess Courtney liked the food. What are we listening to? 
Let's do singer-songwriter. I wonder what that's giving. And Courtney, what is up with you? Fountain of Mirth, now with 100% more zest thanks to Marcel. And this is cute. Malik. Oh my goodness. Look at Malik. Okay, let's have Marcel call Malik over. Marcel, what are you doing in the bathroom with this young lady? And do not invite Malik in here. Leave him out of that. Here comes Mastidra. She's like, Marcel... Marcel, what are you doing in here? He's like, I was just washing my hands. Yeah, can you help me in the kitchen, please? Marcel's gonna come in here and grab some beers for the guys. We're gonna do Heineken. I don't know what else to get. Okay, Miss Deidre, your guests are sad. Cheer her up. Are you enjoying yourself, honey? Yeah, Miss Deidre, I just have some things going on. Well, come over here. Let's talk about it. What's going on? Okay, how rude. So, I don't think that Marcel and Miss Deidre want kids right now. I don't think they want kids at all. Oh, she's a comedian. I didn't know that. Is everything okay, honey? She's like, yeah, you know, I'm just going through this breakup. And it's been really hard on me, so I'm just stealing, you know? Marcel's trying to get Malik to smoke cigars with him. He's like, Malik, a cigar? Babe, I don't want to hear it. This is our annual barbecue. I'm smoking a cigar. Malik, what do you say? Malik, where are your clothes? Why are you dressed like that? Okay, let's sit and chat here with Malik. Where's Courtney? Let's get those cigars out. Lazamba. He's like, yeah, I'm not really smoking these days, you know, school's around the corner and I just really want to get rid of my vices, you know? A glass of wine here and there won't hurt, but the cigars I'll probably just do a bit more socially. Thanks for the get-together, Miss Deidre. It's really nice. Marcel, you know you're not supposed to be smoking, honey. Let him have it, Miss Deidre. Come over here and talk to Courtney. Courtney, did you meet the other young lady? And Malik, you should come meet these guys. You know what? Malik is in his swimwear. It is what it is. Let's give him... Oop, not a rude introduction. We're going to give him a... I was too late. Yikes, I did not mean to do that. He didn't mean it. He's just, you know. Yeah, let's get to know him. Oh. Miss Deidre and Marcel are arguing back there. Oh my goodness. Okay, Marcel, walk away. Why are we arguing in front of our guests? Look at Tianji. I do not trust her. She is nosy. Oh, that's it? Yak from Secondhand Smoke. They're arguing about his smoking. Tanji, please. I guess she doesn't want him smoking. And Tanji, can you stop? Just go away. She just wants the tea. Why is the get-together over so early? Courtney and Malik are going to stick around to help clean up. And Malik is going to come outside and talk to... Marcel. Let's talk about healthy living. Tell him about this new fitness journey that you and Courtney are on. You know, I'm not trying to smoke anymore. Just socially. Let's discuss conquests with him. I'm screaming. Ew, maybe we shouldn't. He's feeling flirty. Not them talking about their woohoo lives. Look at Marcel. The party didn't go the way that I expected it to, but it's The Sims, right? Malik, can you help her clean up? Courtney, you look cute, honey. Malik didn't even wear his outfit, which is kind of upsetting. He's been walking around in his boxers all day. Well, they're not boxers, they're swim trunks, but we didn't plan on swimming. Loonies. Offer him a massage. We're supposed to be helping them clean up, Malik. Schwabby. It's like, how was work? It was okay. You know, the usual. Oop. Okay, Miss Deidre, you better work it out, honey. 
Let's put all this away. I hope they enjoy the cake. Ooh, let's eat some of Courtney's cake. Miss Deidre, please. And we're going to sit outside and talk. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Marcel, why are you acting funny, honey? I guess they came in because of the rain. Miss Deidre, yeah, maybe you should come inside too. Marcel is so sneaky. Where are those beers that he got? Thanks for sticking around, Courtney and Malik. I really appreciate you guys. Courtney, are you okay? Courtney's still on her period, and it says that she's nauseated, but I don't know. I think we might still need to take a pregnancy test. Let's hug Miss Deidre and say goodbye. It's getting really late. Well, thanks for inviting us, Miss Deidre. This was a really nice dinner. She's like, yeah, of course, honey. Ah, Bibidor. Ah, yeah, no, let's. Miss Deidre, what are you talking about? Okay, we need to go. He's like, Malik, are you sure you don't want a pack of Cubans before you... No way. No way. Where did Malik get those cigars? I definitely got rid of all the cigars in his inventory. Marcel, you mean to tell me that he's passing cigars to Malik? I am speechless. I didn't even... Like, what is happening right now? He doesn't even have any in his inventory. Now Courtney is upset. Marcel, not right now. And I don't want to burn our bridges with them. But also, I do feel a way about Marcel giving Malik cigars, knowing that he's supposed to be on a healthy kick. I can't believe this. Yeah, our Uber is around the corner. So we just made it home from Miss Deidre's house and Courtney and Malik are getting ready for bed. Courtney does want to have a few words with Malik about him smoking when they're supposed to be on this fitness journey together or this health journey in general. He promised that he would stop smoking and he didn't stick to his word. I did remove the cigars from his inventory, so the only thing I can think of is Marcel slipping him one behind our back, which is crazy. Oh, she's doing some music. I think Courtney likes the guitar. As far as art goes, I do feel like Courtney is really creative and she's still going to be artistically inclined to do certain activities. Courtney, as you can see, she's cross-stitching right now. She will still be doing yoga, but she's not going to be teaching at the studio anymore. Malik is angry right now. Give me tobacco. Malik is annoyed. He could really need a smoke right about now. Okay, you need to find something to do with yourself, Malik. Yeah, find something else to become addicted to, like tea. Or working out. Or reading a book. Courtney's still upstairs cross-stitching. That's cute, Courtney. Um, we are going to be meeting up with Malik's parents today, and I would like for Courtney to make something for his mom. These are pretty expensive, so I think what we'll do is we will go around our neighborhood and see if we can find some things this morning. Courtney, are you tired? I don't know. I feel like Courtney should take a pregnancy test, too. Something's been off about her. Malik. What's up? Ooh. What's the problem, Malik? Expert stitcher. Malik, you need to calm down. And I smelt that cigar on your breath. You're not slick. Talk about healthy living with him. Why don't you get addicted to tea or working out or I don't know? Malik, is this starting to become a problem? He's going to go upstairs, lay in the bed, and watch TV with his glass of wine. Really? Who are you texting at 7.30 in the morning? Courtney hasn't really been feeling like herself lately. She is on her period, but... I don't know. I just don't trust this game. So we're going to chat with Malik. So Malik hasn't told Courtney about his stance yet. 
She still thinks that he wants to wait until after he's graduated, but it looks like he's actually changed his mind. He said, I like having children, so I guess he's more open to it now. I don't know what's gotten into him, but what's he saying? Oh, he's expressing fondness. He's like, Courtney, I love you, and I would like to have some little Malik's running around here one day. Well, not here, Malik. We need our own place. I don't know, Malik, something's just been off, and I think I should get a pregnancy test. Let's have her take a quick shower before she goes. And Malik, you need something to do. You really need a hobby. Courtney's also been on her period for a while, so I don't really know what's going on with her. So let's send her to the wonderful store. And let's just be sure. I was going to have Malik go outside and do some yoga, but I'm wondering if he likes to game. Do we have any games on here? Yeah, let's play a game. It's a Saturday morning. Let him do him. Let's see what he's into. Deep thoughts, discussing hobbies. And that's it. Yeah, Malik, you need to find a hobby, honey. This is not it. All he wants to do is watch TV, drink wine, and smoke cigars. We need to break this habit. Is Courtney back? Well, that was fast, Courtney. Let's get started on this jewelry for Malik's mom. She got an amethyst. Okay. Let's have her dig this one up, too. Malik's still up here playing the game. He really needs a hobby. He really does. Okay, Court. I think that's enough for now. We'll get started on the necklace. Yes, Benark, what do you want? Benark is so nosy. She's just stopping by to see the decorating that we've done. Okay, Courtney, let's go ahead and get this started. I guess we'll do the amethyst. It's the most expensive one, honey. Courtney is trying to impress his mom. They have dinner reservations later on, too, so that should be cute. Okay, Malik, I think that's enough gaming. How about we go for a jog? Where is Benark? What do you want, Benark? What are you doing here? I think everything's fine now. She had to replace a bunch of things in the kitchen because it was all shoddy. Is everything okay? Ah, jewel, jewel. Yeah, you guys haven't paid rent in like three weeks. I thought it was monthly. It's bi-weekly. Well, that's not outlined in our lease, Benark. Yeah, I know. My husband and I, we switched it up last week. So I'm going to need you guys to re-sign. Okay, now Benark is making stuff up on the spot. I guess we can talk to Tab. Wait, did we finish the jewelry? It's her mom. Hey honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least stop by once in a while and tell your dear mommy you love her, can't you? Okay mom, we'll visit you tomorrow. Courtney, you need to resume this. Tab wants to talk to her and we actually need to head out well, soon, so... Sick of foods. Okay, Benark, we'll send you the money. The we will. Let's find something to eat. Where are the salads? I guess we'll do the beetroot salad. And we need to finish the jewelry. And Courtney, you need to take that pregnancy test. Richie, what's wrong? Do you need some food? Oh. My. Gosh. Malik is upstairs self-woohooing. Malik. You're joking. He put himself to sleep. Aubrey's here. Courtney, I didn't know you invited Aubrey over. Let's invite her in. Girl, are you okay? Bye, Benark. Aw. I like Aubrey. Tab, we can't hang out today, honey. I'm sorry. I guess we need to spend some time with Tab. She was just here yesterday, but seems like she wants to hang out with Courtney. I made some beetroot salad, girl. Do you want some? What's tea? 
Girl, you don't have anything with some cheese. You know I'm a foodie, right? I like to eat. Well, try this beetroot salad. It's a new recipe I'm trying. Courtney is not feeling good, you guys. How long is she going to be on her period? Something is not right. Discuss neighborhood changes. I think Aubrey lives in Willow Creek. They've been gentrifying this neighborhood, if you couldn't tell. It's Malik's mom. Hey, Malik, I've been thinking about getting to know Daryl King better as a friend. Do you think the two of us should hang out? Honestly, mom, I don't know. Why are you trying to hang out with other men? What's tea? And Malik, you're not out of the clear. Solo fun from self woohoo. Sim doesn't always need a partner to enjoy things, yes? Oh, wow. Malik is doing a lot, honey. Or are you okay? We need to finish that necklace or whatever it was. Malik, yeah, you need to wake up. We've got to head out soon. Hey, Courtney, let's put this away. I made salad, Malik. He's like, yeah, no, I'll just have a protein bar. He's going to be addicted to nicotine for four days. She's about to whisper in his ear and let him know that she's going to take the pregnancy test. She just doesn't want Aubrey to hear. They're still fresh as friends, and we don't need anyone in our business. She's like, come here, I'm going to go upstairs and take the test. He wants to go upstairs with her. Okay, Aubrey, they'll be right back, honey. They have something to do. Courtney, come on, honey. Yeah, you need to go and take that test before we leave. She left it in the car, you guys. You know what? Look at their faces. They look ridiculous. I think we'll have to do it when they get back. Courtney is really tired and Malik is just a hot mess right now. He needs to get dressed. His parents are expecting us to be there by five. A warrant has been filed in your name for tax fraud and you will be acted on soon. We look forward to this legal case unless you resolve the money quickly. Cybercrime Division. Um, what in the world? Courtney, what is that about? Son, you look handsome. Thanks, mom. So this is Malik's mom. Her name is Miss Glory and his dad is back there. His name is Herbert. His mom's a little bit of a diva, and she's somewhat of a snob, but we're going to see how the night goes. Son, you look great. Thanks, Dad. Oh, Top of that, I cannot right now. I'm going to put my phone on silent. Mom, please be on your best behavior today. Courtney's not really in a good mood. Dad? Yeah, I'll do my best. Um, how is she anyway? Courtney, or whatever. Yeah, she's good. Um, she's upstairs using the restroom. Well, she should be down here greeting me, son. <laughs> Meanwhile, Courtney's upstairs at the bar. I hope she's not ordering any drinks because there is a possibility. She ordered a bridge port. And she's feeling sad because of Malik. Malik, what are you drinking? Was that a vodka shot? Okay, the show is about to start soon. Courtney, come over here and talk to Malik's parents. You look great, Miss Glory. Thank you. You look different. Yeah, I switched up my hair a little bit. You like it? Your face is a little round, and I would have chosen something longer, but it's an improvement for sure. Okay, Mom, not right now. Seriously. Are you ready for the show, Courtney? Have you ever been to the Philharmonic? Um, actually, I have. My dad and I used to go when I was a little girl. Is that right? Cheap and strong. Malik just took a vodka shot. Is he drunk? He's tipsy. Okay, Malik, you don't need anything else to drink. We'll have Malik's mom order a glass of wine. We'll see what her favorite drink is, actually. I'm curious. And where is Courtney going? 
Gibby Watson? Brittany. Miblet Sabricia. She can't sit here and watch Malik drink, and she also doesn't want to be around his mom because she's always making snarky remarks. Let's make funny faces. He sees that Courtney is not in a good mood, so he's going to try to cheer her up. The show starts in like 10 minutes. We need to head downstairs. She is not in the mood. Before we go, I would like for them to take some pictures together. I knew his dad was going to be in the way. Smile, Courtney. That's cute. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stay. And Malik's mom is spying on the host, which just so happens to be Mr. Delroy's son. What a coincidence. Hey, Royce. Where's Courtney going? Hey, Courtney, you are not supposed to be in the kitchen. Courtney gained a lifestyle, and I'm pretty sure it's the people person lifestyle. Oh, Courtney gained the close knit lifestyle. That's interesting. Ew, why did he have an attitude? Son, why does Courtney keep running off? Okay, mom, she's going to the restroom. Cut her some slack. Well, I'm not waiting for her to order. Okay, mom, it's no big deal. She'll be back. I know what she wants anyway. And we'll have her order for the table. Malik isn't drinking tonight because he knows that Courtney is failing away, so he's just going to have a nice tea. Miss Glory wants a glass of champagne with strawberries. Let's do the cold cucumber mint drink for Courtney. And dad will have a glass of the chef's choice. Malik's going to do the halibut with string beans. Courtney will do the surf and turf. Miss Glory wants... A wagyu steak. Malik's dad will do a rack of lamb. Okay, and let's have Malik's mom get into Courtney's business. Let's pry for secrets. I don't know why she thinks Courtney would tell her any of her secrets, but who knows? Courtney is trying to impress her, so she might just spew anything out. Excuse me? Lori has discovered that Courtney has a secret. Trashy habit. What is that? You're telling me you've never gone over to a neighbor's house to use their trash can? Taking out the trash can be such a hassle sometimes. All I want to do is get rid of all these gross water cups my house guests left everywhere. Or maybe a spoiled grilled cheese once in a while. Sometimes I can't be bothered to wash those dishes. I just need them gone. So if my trash is full, I'll just pop over to their trash can real quick and drop all the dishes in. They've never noticed anyways. Oh wow. Courtney. Please. That's the best you could give her? Good, because she's really nosy. Let's discuss gourmet dishes with Courtney. I don't know why she thinks Courtney has never had anything gourmet before. It's like we love this place, Courtney. Whenever we're in the burg, this is where we come to eat dinner. Courtney just got the gourmet cooking skill. So Malik's mom is kind of like a Rachel Ray. She is a chef, I believe. Actually, let me pull up her symology. So she's an author slash writer. Glory writes books on their expertise. Glory. What are you doing? Mom, just sit down and relax. We're having dinner. Hmm. They do have a difficult family dynamic. Mom, 
home, I asked you to be on your best behavior. Well, I'm just making sure she doesn't go to jail for trespassing, Malik. I'm looking out for the better good of both of you. She's throwing her trash out at the neighbor's house, Malik. Oh my gosh, this is going terribly. Oh. Look at Courtney's face. So, um, Mr. King, let's just chat with him to lighten the mood. So Malik and I are thinking about traveling this summer. Oh, so you guys are traveling, Malik. Is that what you guys are doing? Yeah, Mom, we're grown. Like, what do you want us to do? Come and stay this summer with you? Well, that would be nice, honey. Your father and I would love that. The food looks good. Miss Glory, how's the wine? Courtney, we don't do phones at the table, honey. Sorry, it was my cousin. I just wanted to make sure she was okay. Well, this is interesting. I guess the food isn't good. Let's share ideas with Miss Glory. Let her know that we're starting a luxury jewelry brand and that we're working on a piece for her. She's like, honey, I... No, thank you, honey. I don't need anything that's going to turn my neck green. Little does she know. You know what? Never mind. Dessert, anyone? I guess not. Okay, Miss Glory, you need to stop spying on Courtney. What is the problem? Now dad is going to get into the mix. Let's argue about parenting with her. Malik, if you don't like the food, you don't have to eat it, honey. And let's get some dessert. It's getting really late, but why not? He's like, Gloria, you can't let the kids be kids. I think we'll all do the panna cotta strawberry. It's the chef's choice. $600 bill. Malik's dad is not having it. He's like, Lori, just let the kids be kids, okay? Mom, you're ruining the night right now. I'm ruining the night. Sorry, what can I get you guys? Yeah, we're just going to do the chef's special. Thanks. Anyway, Malik, when are you going to give us some grandchildren? Um, Mom, I don't think this is an appropriate time to discuss that. Let's have Mr. Herb talk to Courtney. Let's joke about politicians with Courtney. Let's bestow empathy upon Courtney. You know, I'm sorry about everything that happened. You know, Glory. She's just, yeah, no, it's no problem. I get it. So Herb is a generous sim. It says generous sims constantly desire to uplift others and are always willing to lend an ear to someone else's hardships. And checkmate. Oh my gosh. So Courtney was being extra friendly with Malik's dad. Malik heard and now he's feeling away. We're not going to say that he's jealous. He is upset though. Oh my gosh. Malik. Oh my gosh. Guess we're just gonna eat our dinner in silence now. Oh, it's poor quality. Not them turning the lights off on us. Oh my gosh, the restaurant is closed. Okay, well, I think we'll just wrap this up. The dessert is nasty anyway, and it is almost 5 o'clock in the morning. Here comes the waiter. He's like, hey, sorry, you guys, we're uh, closed for the night. Can I get you guys anything else? No, thank you. Courtney, you need to come over here and say something to your man. Give him a hug. Oh. And I... Oh. Courtney, you were flirting with my dad. I just said that he was handsome. Oh my goodness, look at their romance. Drifting love, caught the love of his life flirting with another. Are they joking around or losing interest? You know that Courtney is not interested in your dad. Come on, discuss sad mood. 
And Courtney needs to get out of that dress. She's feeling flirty. Malik is sad. How's Richie? I know what will cheer you up, Malik. This is really sad. It was sexy pose, Courtney. Oh my goodness. Malik, don't be like that. You know Courtney did not mean it. Courtney does not want your dad and you know it. Malik. Malik is really hurt by this. Oh, Malik. Courtney said, hey, it's okay to be sad. Sometimes life can be tough, but you're not alone. I'm here for you. She said, it's okay to take some time for yourself. If you need to cry, that's okay too. Just know that I'm here to support you. Oh. It says that Malik is sad because he's addicted to nicotine, but he's taking it out on Courtney. He's going to give her another soothing snuggle. Malik. He's like, I'm sorry, this isn't even about you. I know, Malik. It's about these cigars. He's addicted to nicotine and it's boosting his sadness. Let's apologize for flirting with another. And we'll see if we can cheer him up. Ew, Courtney. Why are you in the bed in that gown? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is going on, Courtney? Well, I guess she's not pregnant because she can't take a pregnancy test. And maybe that's a good thing. Malik, it's going to be okay. Malik just needs to get over this tobacco addiction. This could definitely be a lot worse, but luckily it's just tobacco. But I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next episode.